Okay, back we come to Persona 3 Reload. We are about to have the first full moon. So, spoilers. Because uh, <laughs> this is where things start to kick off. Wee. I like the shattering clock from P3P. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Ooh. Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? You're not going to believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. <laughs> Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Loud noise woke me up. Check what's happening. There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Get to the chopper. What's going on? Hurry to the first floor. We'll leave through the back. Oh wait, take this just in case. Where did you pull a short sword from? Okay, let's go. All right. It's just like a Wonder Woman thing behind the back, maybe. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? It's at the front door. That's the back door. Should we go upstairs for now? Where did the others go? I thought they were downstairs. Right. If we go out through here, then then it's the roof. <sighs> I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. You reckon? Oh yeah, so these animated ones you can completely skip. No way. <laughs> How many hands do you need? Enter the magician. It's here. <laughs> Wait. Don't try this at home, kids. So. I am thou. Thou art I. From the sea of thy soul, I come. 
No, it's Master of Puppets pulling the strings. Get it right. Just as we thought. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Interesting. What on earth was that? <sighs> Is it over? No! Apparently not. One more. We could just attack, but it's not like I need the SP for anything else. Just blast everything. And that's why it's fun to start on easy, because you don't need that first battle being a grind. <laughs> and you can never, like, save a leveled up Orpheus to start with anyway. That's the thing, it's like in even a new game plus, where you get, like, to keep your Come compendium, on. you can't Can you have me? a better one to start with. Oh, say something. Can I have a massage? <sighs> Igor, or is that you? It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh. I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. Mm. Of course. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Maybe. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. I thought this place existed between, like time and space so surely time doesn't march on while i'm here <laughs> in other words eagle's got shit to do he's got things to see and people to do it is getting clearer god i wish that would happen this is <laughs> the fantasy of games my head is getting clearer How do you feel? 
Where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Mood. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you! Alright. <laughs> Under observation, I guess. Oh, welcome back. Get some rest, over your room's safe now. How about you come tuck me in just in case? <laughs> What's with the statues? Kind of creepy. <laughs> Hey, Sonata. Good. No, he's out. Uh, we should save. <laughs> now that that's all over, always a good idea to save after those things. Huh? You two didn't come to school together? Even though you're in the same dorm? Are you stupid or something? I've heard enough about that. Anyway, you feeling better? Sorry to hit you with this so soon after you've recovered, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Head to the dorm after school and come to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? What? Hold up. Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? It's not Your like mom. That. Oh, is that serious? Come on, we're gonna be late if we just stand around here talking. Hey, Mr. Smarty. I guess that conversation did go somewhere. Yeah, this is Persona 3 Reload. It just came out. So I was always going to start playing it. Especially since my throat and stuff's a bit knackered today, so it's a case of... It does a lot of the talking for me. I still talk too much, but... That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. Wraps up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history's not exciting enough until then. But it's what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. It's not easy being green. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'm so... I'll say question at random and call it a day. Hmm. Places where people dump their waste in the Jomon period. What are they called nowadays? I don't fucking know. You haven't even covered this. And it's going to be annoying to reload to get it right. But I'm fairly sure it was middens. Mm, that's correct. Yeah. Where does Scandinavian in origin? It means dunghill. Uh, that didn't work. Still not interested in this at all. Oh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Okay. That increases my charm. Cha Ching. Still really like old school noises when things like that level up. It just sounds really dated there. Even though they've refreshed everything uh, else. Hey, wanna walk home together? Sure. We live in the same dorm and all, and I've been a little worried. What if you pass out again on the way home? O okay. I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Sure you can make out I mean make it up. Come on, let's go. Twilight Fragments. Mm. I don't remember anything like that from the first game, so that's interesting. Bop after bop, music-wise? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I, I do, they didn't need to redo a lot of it. Like, they've redone new versions of pretty much all of the tracks, which I don't think they needed to do. But, eh, it's alright. I, I get it, kind of. Uh, anyway, fast travel. 
Four floor. Oh. There you are. Hey. Sure, I'm waiting for you inside. Cool. Ah, there you are. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Excuse me? That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things the coffins missed, threw me, didn't but... it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Between? It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them, those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. Okay, but why do you sound like an old man? It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. Hey, you gotta enjoy what you do. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating Some the fancy shadows. Club. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible we should find for found most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. What about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during the dark hour. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Mm -hmm. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. All right. Who <laughs> was afraid you'd say no? I'm glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment, why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone, dude. Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hold up. Voice ringing in my head. Cha-ching! And thou, thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the fool arcana. Cool. Hey, at least they made that bit quicker. The whole spiel and five and stuff. He's hit the thing, roll credits, yeah. <laughs> Social well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a 
compulsory. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? Dude, that's bad even by my standards. You know, because it's the weekend. Shall we end? Shall we end? The more you explain it, it, the worse it gets. How have you been? No, it's how high are you? How do you get in here? I'm always by your side. Well, in my head, technically, I guess. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's the end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know much about it. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. Alright. Thanks, ghost boy. Looks like I slept till night time. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Yeah, I sleep my entire Sunday. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. <laughs> what, Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? <laughs> I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential. But he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Of course you did. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. You guys know that? Didn't happen to me. Hey, what's with the tough guy act? Just, just the truth? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. But man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked too, right? Having me join? Yeah, can't unfold. Fantastic. What? Someone to throw into the front lines. Uh, I guess. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? You should probably put your bags away first, dude. Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? It's a place that holds the key to understanding the dark hour. Or so we think. The key. Huh. I got a key. It's called a velvet key. Want to see it? So be ready. Ooh, I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. Can I have a minute? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Yes, ma'am. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Damn. Doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know? With the student council or whatever. 
Whoa, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? <laughs> it's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. It's that you do like her. It's okay, we get it. <laughs> All right, everyone's here. Holly and Accurate Portrayal of School. What are the kids? Where are the kids that look like they just got out of bed? Uh, they're all the ones that don't have a face. Um, <laughs> if they're not a relevant character, they just don't get a face. Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo kun and Sanada kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. And it's 4:20. Uh, so, so we're gonna blaze I the tower. Yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? Well, the Tartars you see were a people who lived back in, I believe, Turkey or something back in the day. Oh, Tartarus? That's a it's Greek Tartarus. mythology thing. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? I mean... He doesn't really look around. It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seize, is to fight those shadows. However... So we need to seize the opportunity? Simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait This is actually just an all big dupe, Junpei. This is an intervention. You need to go to night classes because you're lazy and stupid. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Time to transform. Tartarus, more than meets the eye. Uh. <laughs> Neat trick. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? Mm. What are you talking about? Who's the Minotaur? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? It's kind of what we're trying to find out, dude. You don't know either? That's why we're here. No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's got to be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Well, it seems like we do. <laughs> Whoa. It's just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? Sure. What? By ourselves? No, together. We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. 
A leader? Like the captain of a pirate ship? No, not at all like that. I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! No. You're in charge. <laughs> Wait, why him? He doesn't look like a captain. That's the whole point. Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? That's true too, but the main reason is far more simple. He's less insufferable. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can. Me too. We'll see. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. You say that, but you can just attack them with swords too. I'm aware of that. Alright, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? I am ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? Be right back, guys. It's got to phase out of reality for a bit. Because that's really going to engin to trust in my leadership abilities, just spacing out for a bit off to the side. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. I mean... That is why Not the you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. The nature of my power? Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, sure that my boy you will see needed. the faces of possibility before you. I'm curious there to see what they've done with shuffle time and stuff. Are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power <laughs> Seize, get it, because we're seize. Be sure to keep that in mind. That man has quite the nose. He does. My spare time will quite a unique trait. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. He's also very gangly. I believe the lore of Igor is he's like a puppet, like a marionette, kind of Pinocchio-esque, um, but got hey, given life. Right? Yeah, I just need yeah, some space. Up? You look like a zombie. Open this door and... Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? Live in La Vida, loco. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Yeah, I feel they could have introduced that bit you. later on, rather than interjecting it right now when you're trying to, like, prove yourself. <laughs> I want to make a face sitting joke, but I probably shouldn't. Hey, I mean, Elizabeth's got a big smile on her face. What happens in the Velvet Room stays in the Velvet Room. Wait, what did I say? Exploring, you can save at locations where you can change your party, right? But you can't save on the floor you're currently exploring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I do like the big environment to explore. Oh, I can run underneath the stairs. Okay, that is cool. That's a that's a little piece that... Can I run off the edge? Whee! <laughs> you died. <laughs> You can explore. So much room for activities. So this is the teleporter thing. Doesn't seem to be functioning right now. It's got a big, like, coil. 
Sir, hmm. won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. Hmm. That's where I keep my navigation equipment. Sir, do you mind not touching that? Take me for a ride? Hmm. Oh, it doesn't become grey when they don't have something else to do. Make sure you back them up. Hell yeah! Alright, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. You know. Hmm. This is Tyrus. So this is Christmas. Wait, what? It doesn't seem to be working though. Oh, that used to be where you saved your game and uh, healed yourself, I think. Certainly healed yourself anyway. And we go. Infiltrate Tartarus. <laughs> yes, right. Our first thought is, how can I kill myself? I mean, All right. mood of the game. I'm ready. Good luck. It's more a case of what does the game let you do? Does it let you do stupid things? Generally, no. A lot of these games, they tend to hold your hand a lot. But that's fine. Real deal. Easy to get lost in. Yeah, maybe. Can you all hear me? Ghostly Masuru, is that you? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Seems good. Got it. Why is she always like that? <laughs> she should pop up, Zuck. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. There's a shadow. They look creepy. I'm gonna guess I can't sneak up on it yet. Hold on. Yeah, there's a shadow up ahead. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Bang. Oh hey, it you. Let's start by going over how to attack shadows. When faced with Hit them with the pointy end of the sword. Primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The you know second shit. option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths. <laughs> and walls moving behind me. That's a fun touch. Work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Hey. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Here goes. Check this out. Maybe. There we go. He got it. Nice. Gun to the head thing. I can see why Twitch calls this mature. Yeah, it's a very much don't try this at home sort of moment every single time. It honestly gets a bit old in terms of the persona summoning mechanic of it being like, yeah, shoot yourself in the head constantly. I'm not sure that felt necessary, but it's the sort of thing that, well, they can't not do it in the remake. They have to stick with it. They they made that Another decision 20 ahead. years ago or 15 years ago. To combat. It's more that they do it literally every single to... time. <laughs> Like, I could get it at the start of the battle, maybe, or like once per right. battle. Next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only yep. that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Ah, get knocked down. Huh? I'll show you how it's done. Wait, let me handle this one. Just point Don't it to fight. My head. And pull the trigger. Yeah, it's like this. Russian roulette, but magical. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, you can die. That's it, talk about. You give it a try as well. Yeah, I kinda of already know about their weaknesses because I saw it first time around. Keep that up and finish off the rest. I'll go with. 
So it's the fact they do it every time that gets me. Like the, it'd be nice if there was like an animation skip sort of option. They leveled up. Yes. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Where's the mandatory don't do this warning? At the start of the game when you kind of load in pretty much. Fantastic work, well, Takeba. Something along those lines. As well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Don't be a creep, Jinpei. Can you try not bah, being a creep? <laughs> Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. Can't you take care of that? I can still send some enemies around. Let's move on. Shadow detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. It'll be interesting to see how they've changed the um, the speed at which shadows move. Okay, it's X. I was expecting it to be A, not X. Next, I'm going to explain a tactic for defeating several enemies at once. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I'll keep track of. Barely sure I'll kill them if I do, but okay. Weaknesses you've identified. If you Good. ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know, and I'll get that data for you. At least it's instant now. Used to be that it would like take a few turns to get the analysis. Live in a country you literally never see guns ever, same. Yeah, it's not, not really a thing here. That's when you perform an all out attack. An all out attack? It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Whoa, that sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! Now, what bothers me is I have noticed that the health bars on my teammates is low. They haven't taken damage. They've leveled up. Leveling up does not top up your health. That bothers me. I always feel in games, if you level up, your your max XP will go up, or HP should go up, but it should be adjusted. Like it should, it should go up, and you 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 maintain the damage that you took, but that should be it. So they they haven't taken damage yet. They haven't been hit. They shouldn't be below maximum. The enemy's down. Let's do it. Pop 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 bang. Shuffle time. Different types appear. You can choose one of these cards. Yeah, yeah. Cool. One, the more one mores you get, the higher chance it will occur. If you end a battle with an all-out attack, it will always occur. Right. So they've, like, explained the randomness, because that that always used to be a case of, now, does it make a difference? Does it not? I don't think it was ever really explained. They actually explained it this time. And you can literally just select the cards. You don't have to, like, pluck them out of a mini game. it seems, anymore. Done and dusted. Level up. Yeah, because I've only taken like 10 damage, so I should not have only 50 HP. Uh, I'm retaining the wrong part of the equation. When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. Uh, phrasing? It's hard to believe it's your first time. As you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. So it used to be that you could like, they would get alerted, but you, you couldn't really get behind them once they were alerted. You had to wait for your moment to sneak up on them. In Persona 4, it was a bit different. You could alert them and they had a little bit of a moment, you could still run around behind. I'll continue providing support. Yeah, yeah. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. Yeah, yeah. But why should I? They're weak to fire. I don't think Apsaris does fire damage. F 
Saras. Yeah, she's weak to fire. He's strong against fire, but weak to lightning. But, oh, these are a different arcana. Never mind. Ah, Priestess Arcana. Okay, so that's why. She's also Priestess, so it probably doesn't matter, but hey, maybe that's the whole point. Okay, yeah, that's what it's trying to tell me about now. It looks like you really do have a special power. What to do? Bam. Sweet. Fifty percent of your max. So actually, um, quantify it by saying how much you restore. Jesus, a level 1 and you restore 50% of your maximum HP? That seems absurd. Obtain more money. Hey, it tells you what skill card? That's insane. Okay. They have made this so good. <laughs> I mean, XP is always nice. Money is also always good. You kind of lack money early on. I'm playing on easy so we get more anyway, but still. Uh, yeah, let's just <laughs> let's take more money. Early game, money good. Hey, 69 XP. Nice. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Hmm. Jealous. Right. Good place to stop. No. There must be some stairs nearby, but I can't approve any more exploration right now. We'll explore the upper floors next time. Boo! Boo! One-way teleporters. Yep. Oh, hello. You look interesting. Look, that <laughs> yeah, game's date is 420 and you got 69 XP. Yeah, is that intentional? Do the developers know what they're doing? I think they do. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. So it needs a key, right? Twilight fragment I found in my room seems to be reacting. What's that you got there? Oh, that's interesting. I wonder. That's a new mechanic. Used to just be that you had keys, like chest key. Now you need twilight okay. fragments. Interesting. Fauna and Tartarus or other locations with traces of shadows. Mm hmm. So that's something you should prioritize. That used to just be that you just got chest keys from various things anyway, and again, you would want to prioritize them. There's the teleporter. Um, what is it for the map again? This one. There's a corridor we didn't go down, so we should do that. I like to be exhaustive. I wonder if we hang around long enough we'll get the Reaper. That would be a bit rough on the, the very first thing. Oh, here's the stairs. Right. We're not allowed to go up there. Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. This does not look safe, but okay. Beat me down, Scotty. Welcome back. So, how was it? No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Cha Don't get any special thing, but let's return. It, it, it's the sort of thing like in merciless mode, there should actually be a little counter, and you only get exactly sixty minutes once you enter Tartarus to actually finish your exploration. Otherwise, the uh, the time ends. That'll be fun.
Structure will have changed. Treasure chest you've already found can be rediscovered. Returning can be a good idea if you find yourself stuck. Salut. Salut. Finish up here. Does that sound good to you? Let's call it quits.